Pabbles. Thank you so much for stopping by. We are here for your monthly forecast. Your monthly reading. Please check your chart because you could have any placement of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements in any, um, and, ah! Some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Um, thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the uh, tips, the bookings, the recommendations, all that. I really appreciate it. Please make sure that you are liking the video and subscribe to the channel, please. The rotation is still active, I promise you. Okay. Um, Taurus. Oh, bookings are open. My pricing and content information is in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Uh, Taurus, we have uh, pulled the zodiac signs of who could be around you during this time, who could be being nosy, and who the messages in this reading could pertain to. Real quick, we do have some strong water showing up. So, some of you guys could have strong water in your chart. There could be a water sign around you, or some messages in this reading will definitely pertain to a water sign. We have Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, and then we have Capricorn showing up on the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, I feel like some of you guys could be on the outs with a Capricorn during this time. Simply put, you don't fuck with a Capricorn. You don't. Excuse me. Um, there was the strong water sign energy that I was talking about with the Scorpio and the Cancer energy. There could also be some messages for you in these readings and um, for you to go watch. Real quick, let's look at the planetary activity. I don't see nothing going on, but please make sure that you check out my new moon and cancer readings. Um, if you just want to see like what sort of energy you're going to be in due to the new moon being in cancer, what effect is it going to have on you, girl? Go check that out. Your overall energy for the month of July is dreams, fantasies, and divinities. This is my spiritual messages card. So things being sent your way in regards to billboards, in regards to dreams, in regards to television, in regards to media. Just spirit, universe, God talking to you in any sort of way possibly. And then we have follow your passion showing up on the bottom of the deck. So this is you seeing that sign to where it's like be your own boss. Why wait? Do it today. Your final check shouldn't come from a company. Okay, like some of you guys, I feel like I said, uh, spirit, the universe, or God is going to be talking to you in regards to you following your passions, your creative interests, hobbies, um, going where you feel fulfilled. All right. What where I want to use? A little chilly in here. I don't feel like getting up and changing at the temp, though. I don't. Spirit guys, <laughs> what's happening? I'll do it for the next reading. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Taurus zodiac in the month of July of 2024? What's happening to the Taurus zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Ten of Swords. With the four pentacles. Oh, real quick. God, there's so much. Literally. Um, so one of the messages that I forgot to tell you guys was when I was shuffling, um, career change, loss, and flip came out, but I, I caught it with my knees. Um, so some of you guys could be ready to quit something. You could be um in the midst of leaving something behind. So this is you know, you put your two weeks in at a job and you still gotta get your final check, you're still on your final week, something like that. Or this could be some of you guys could be um suffering from income. I said this earlier, income fluctuation, but some of you guys it looks like a loss of money. Money could be coming from that because the card almost fell out on the floor um so be aware of that but overall i think a lot of you guys are ready to quit something leave something behind i'm here it's like you at your um you at your breaking point you at your wits end you're on your last leg look look what the first card out is i didn't even realize we have the ten of swords with the four of pentacles, Taurus, is this not your card? It looks like you could be holding on to something that it's just time for you to let go of. Mm -hmm. Ace of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. So it can free you up to find, like, you know, this is, you know, get rid of your boyfriend for, so you can find your husband. I'm playing. Not really, but I am. But some of you guys, I feel as though you need to get rid of one thing so you can invite something much better into your life. How do I feel like I said that before? Deja vu. But a lot of y'all, this is in regards to a career. Definitely. 
career, financial opportunities, ventures. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, it might not happen instantly, okay? But some of you guys need to know that you are in a space of needing to get rid of one uh, source of income, one venture, or one job so you can go after something much more, um, much better paying, uh, much better suited for you. You know what I just heard? Something that can keep up with your lifestyle because you know you like to spend money. Or at least have nice things. Let me say that, Taurus. You like to have nice things. So, here you guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Yes, stick is in the building, High Priestess. Taurus, this is your card with the Eight of Swords. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys can't ignore it anymore. That with the Ten of Swords, something here is coming to an end or something uh, here has ended and you could be keeping it low-key during this time. You know, the first thing that just popped up into my mind is somebody here could be going through a silent breakup. Like, they're not putting it on social media, but they are silently separating from someone. This could be literally, like, you know, someone here just doing things off social media or they haven't made it known that they are breaking up with someone or someone is like... This is, you know, distancing yourself from a partner. You're not really talking to them like that. You're ignoring them. You ain't coming home no more. That's your way of breaking up. Some tours move like that. Some tours move like that, okay? I've had a few tours friends, and I have a tourist ex. One or two. I have a tourist ex. You just, they just fade to black, girl. <laughs> they, they just fade to black. You like, what the fuck? Some of you guys are done with someone whose energy that you still pick up on. There, there's no doubt in that. Um, some of you guys is, is an air sign um, or a, it's an air, fire, or a water sign. Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. I think someone still um, reminisces about you. They're still nostalgic over you. And I say it's, it's um, them to you because the Six of Cups are showing up on the bottom of the deck. You have the Ten of Swords. It's almost like, I don't want to remember. Like, some of you guys are like, nah, girl, I want to leave you back there, okay? But with the High Priest, you might feel like spiritually you can still feel this person. And it's because they are still nostalgic over you. Eight of Swords, they do still think about you. I think they do a good job at with the Emperor card not looking like it, you know? They're, they're successful. They're doing their own thing. Maybe they moved on. They're in a new situation. They're in a whole new phase of life, right? But this person is still very much so nostalgic or reminiscent over you. I, I'm not, you know, mind you, I'm not telling you to know, go check that out. I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, why you might still feel that person's presence. Spirit, guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac? I don't encourage bad behavior. What's happening to the Taurus Zodiac? Did I say Taurus or Scorpio? What's happening to the Taurus uh, Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Ooh, you know this is my sexy card. The Temperance with the Eight of Cups showing up on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Know that anything that, you know, you get separated from, you walk away from, is best. High Priest and the Temperance. Not only is it best, know that you will be protected. Like, if anything is yanked away from you or you have to walk away from anything, know that Spirit is about to bring something in that's going to be much better for you. Temperance. It's like if you return it, you got to get something back. You feel me? Yeah, look. Look at the difference between these two cards. The Eight of Cups and the Temperance. With the Eight of Cups, she's looking in these cups. There's nothing in there versus the Temperance card. There's something being poured in this cup from something else. And I feel like that something else is the universe. So with the Eight of Cups, yeah. Something here that's unfulfilling um, to you, Taurus. With the Eight of Cups, it is time for you to walk away from. To find something else find something better for you something that's going to actually feed you nourish you the soil okay not take advantage of you not overwork you and with the ace of cups some of y'all this definitely pertains to romance romance i said that kind of weird is some of you guys, Ten of Swords, High Priest, and the Tempest card, if this is a situation that has already happened, and I feel like a lot of y'all, it has, like, there's someone here that you feel much better being without. 
like with the ten of swords it's like yeah girl, i am better without you like it's like that sort of situation i'm better without you but it's like damn i'm better off without you that sucks for you for you okay that sucks for you all right um that is the case between you and someone i feel like you're a lot fuller you're glowing you're a lot more I don't want to say that. <laughs> You're just on a better course ever since you decided to get rid of that individual. Because, I mean, look, with the devil, this is a taker. This is a user. This is an abuser. It's like they will drain people. And look at the belly. I, like, this is this is a greedy motherfucker. And with the eight of cups, you had to get away from this person because you come back and all your cups have been drunk. It's like this person will drain you, but then when you need you, whenever you need them to be there for you, they ain't got nothing to offer. Or they take everything from you and then they walk off. So some of you guys were right in disconnecting from a relationship with someone like that. It doesn't really have to be romantic, but I definitely feel like you had a relationship like this at one point in your life, or some tours might have this currently in their life. <sighs> Okay, so here guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Three of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles technically would be your energy. Yeah, uh, Taurus, a lot of you guys are being uh, shown or told. And if this ain't spiritual messages, I don't know what is. High Priestess and the Temperance, this is your intuition and your spirit guides. Or divine counsel. Some people might consider this prayer, okay? Some of you guys are definitely being shown spiritually where you need to go. But where you need to go, Ten of Swords, involves you walking away from something. Letting something go. But with the Ace of Pentacles, look what I have for you, says the universal will of fortune, the Ace of Pentacles. Look what I can give you. But you have to be forward thinking. With the Three of Wands, it's like you have to be willing to get outside your comfort zone. You have to be willing to look into different places, different environments. You got to get out your bubble. Where, where you want to be might not be in the state that you're currently in. The city, the county, the zip code. It might not be. Could be a geography thing, right? Or it could be the field, okay, the industry that you're that you're currently in or looking into. No, we gotta go bigger than that. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Taurus zodiac in the month of July? Okay. Emperor, hi guys. It's the men, but check your chart because some of you guys could have Mars and Taurus. Two of Cups, the world, Knight of Swords. Um, if this isn't being your own boss, being an entrepreneur, this is definitely some of you guys um, taking that degree, that certification, that license that you have, your own skills, your own talents, and you building a platform off of that for yourself. It's like you have a special set of skills and talents that you can take to any company. You can take to any um, CEO. You can become your own CEO, honestly, with the emperor. I don't want to scare you, okay? Because some of y'all might be like, what? Okay, but it's like, yeah, girl. <laughs> that could definitely be your final destination, you being your own boss. But, of course, it's going to take some stepping stones to get there. But some of you guys have that capability. To eventually get to a place to where you really are your own boss. Whether it be through you going back to school, going through school, obtaining some sort of certification, some sort of license, establishing your own platform. But in order for you to do that, ten of swords, some sort of ending got to come first in your life, buddy. It do. It dies. Also, I told y'all, some of y'all, this is definitely regards to a certain relationship. 
Um, some of you guys got rid of one relationship and it has definitely been replaced with another. Some of you guys, it has already been replaced with another. Um, and you could be with someone to where it's like, oh my God, you know that song, Keisha Cole? Sit from heaven. Oh my God. You feel that way about a person? That is so sweet. Like some of you guys really feel like you prayed for somebody and you know, Amazon Prime had you, girl. They had it in stock. Two day shipping. You're like, oh my God, is this really my man? My man, my man, my man, okay? Or maybe a man feels this way about someone. And it's almost like being like, girl, I could kiss the floor. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I decided to let one relationship go so I could have the one that I do now. Some people feel this way about someone that they're currently with during this time. Um, I see a strong fire. I always see tourists uh, uh, tend to do very well with other, uh, I don't want to say other fire signs, but with fire signs. Certain fire signs. <laughs> Certain, okay. Because I see some tourists could feel this way about an Aries um, or Sagittarius that they could be with during this time. Love, girl, all the, all the love songs are coming to mind. Music, soul child. What? You know, girl, you hitting that high note? Maybe it's just me being inappropriate or maybe I just channel something. I'm going to get out your business. I'm going to get out your bedroom, okay? I like it in there, though. It's real comfortable. That's how tourists do. Girl, if one place is going to be comfortable, it's the bedroom. Anyway, um... Some of you guys might be like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Mo. Because it's not here yet. Relax. I told you, your man or your woman might not even be in your zip code. Just like this, this opportunity. Anyway, some of you guys, if you, you know, have gotten rid of a certain um, relationship out your life to where you were being um, taken from. Honestly, you were just being taken from. Nobody was pouring into you. A relationship will come to replace that. Like I said, it doesn't really just have to be romantic. But with the two of cups here, some of y'all is definitely romantic. Look, she got her cup. She's waiting for the other cup to come. All right. Some of y'all, that person is on the way. But you, it's almost like they got to move closer to you. You got to move closer to them. Like some of y'all, your, your soulmate ain't in North Carolina. I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm aware of that. If they is, they might be from North Carolina, but I don't feel like it, okay? Just just give me one moment, okay? One moment. Sorry about that. But yeah, like I was saying, some of you guys, your soulmate, you might got to get closer to. But be glad that you got rid of one uh, relationship because a better relationship will come um, to replace that to where someone will value you. You will come across a certain divine counterpart with this emperor out here. Someone, you know, is somebody going to match my freak? Whether it be your freak or your frequency. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac? In the month of July of 2024. Page of Wands with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's almost as though with the Page of Wands, Taurus, I feel as though some of you guys might need to take a chance in trying new things. Like, um, Taurus, I feel like a lot of you guys, I don't really need to tell you this, but just in case you do need to be told this, I feel like you need, oh God, I don't want to say that. It's like, don't be scared to do more. Don't be scared to try more. And I'm not saying overextend yourself. It's just sometimes we, you know, are a little bit scared to go into certain spaces or environments because we don't feel like we'll fit in. We feel like, um, you know, this isn't my norm, so I'm not really going to mesh well. And it's like, girl, try it. You might like it. It's like trying new foods. Uh, what about the texture? And girl, just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth, girl. If you don't want to, you ain't got to. 
I know that's a, that's a wild statement to make, okay? Just put it in your mouth. With your consent, of course. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, I, I, it's, it's like that sort of situation, Taurus. I feel like some of you guys need to be willing to try new things, go new places, eat new foods. The temperance for me can also be about being made new. It kind of gives me a little bit like baptism energy. Just, you know, um, fresh and clean. Just, just someone who is willing to shed, shed their skin to, you know, be in a new space, be in a new energy. So, you guys, what's happening to this tour zodiac in the month of July? Okay. That's crazy crazy dude and i tried to save it girl towards you might have tried to save it but if it's over it's over the ten of cups and it fell out like this taurus 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 yeah there could be certain family members or certain connection with someone to where it's like nah the verdict has been reached excuse me This for me is like some, you ever tried to hold on to certain people, even though spirit is like, didn't? I gave them their exit papers. Why is this person still on your couch? Like sometimes spirit will actually force people out your life, but sometimes we try to hold on to them out of uh, familiar rally. <laughs> Having a familial connection with them, you know, family, uh, feeling close to them. But it's like, nah, girl, once spirit has made a decision about somebody, they got to go. Like I said, Taurus, you might have been the individual that tried to hold on to this person, but nah, it's like judgment. Once the verdict has been reached, you got to go. Some of y'all, this definitely is happening with a water or a fire sign uh, energy. Has or will or is. What's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Three of Pentacles. Oh. Three of Pentacles, but the Seven of Swords is here. The only sabotage that can affect you, Taurus, is self-sabotage. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. You not going after things for yourself is the only way you will fail in life. Period. Because you got, you got too many things working for you. You got too many things at, at your advantage here. You have the High Priestess, discernment, intuition, and it's heightened, by the way. Temperance, divine and spiritual protection. Girl, you step out this house, you covered. Like all state, you in good hands. Three of Wands, the provisions we have for you. There's a path for you to take. Emperor, you have the skills, you have the talents, you have the capability. Page of Wands, you got the stamina, you got the, 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 the what's the word I'm looking for? I had, it's right there. The um, excitement. Like someone that wants to start something. And with the three of pentacles, you're you're someone that's able to ride it out. You're someone that is that, you know, I'm willing to start from scratch. What do you mean you can't? Don't give me that. Says the universe, the will of fortune. I'm just speaking. I'm just a representative here, okay? You have to complain. You got to file that with them. With the seven of swords, it's, it's like that is the only sabotage that can affect you. You're good. <laughs> It's like, girl, nothing out here is going to knock you down and I won't be with well, the universe. The universe won't be able to pick you back up. Let me let you know that right now. You have insurance. But if you don't go after certain things, that is the only way you will fail in life. Damn. Taurus, you guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? Eight of Pentacles. I told you, like, these are some good cards. <laughs> eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Now, Taurus, some of you guys are already in this space. And I feel like you are moving very, very, very quietly. Okay, High Priest, you are keeping everything close to the chest and not telling everybody what your next move is. You just doing. All right? You're literally just doing. And you might feel there's something paranormal or spiritual that's kind of leading you during this time. That's putting you in the right places. That's kind of like talking to you. Telling you where to go, how to move, what to do, what to get. 
giving you a heads up on certain things, uh, on certain things. Last card, Spirit Guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of July of 2024? ace of swords with the hangman definitely whenever i see the high priestess and the ace of swords this for me is someone who has messages come like clear as day like spiritual hotline they always somebody pick up on the first ring you know this for me i said it earlier prayer like for you you know prayer works like whenever you talk to god you feel like something talk back to you or something gives you confirmation in your life that something is listening to you okay There's a blueprint here for you, Taurus. I promise you. Temperance, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. There is a blueprint here for you. But the only way you will lose in life is if you don't try. If you don't even open the book. If you don't even try to go on a journey. Hey, look, hangman. Look, look at the bird looking. Like, are you really trying to get the strawberry like that? Rather than just trying to break the branch or untie your foot? Why are you doing things the hard way? Sometimes spirit will just look at you. Just do shit the hard way. Because with the hermit, you'll learn from experience. You'll learn not to do that again. Taurus, this was your July monthly forecast. The only placement of Taurus that I truly see out here other than the sun is Mars and Taurus. So please check that chart. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Price